So my name is Corinne Berkla and I am doing my last year in the photonics uh, program. I did uh, both my uh, bachelor and master degrees here at EPFL in the life science faculty. I would say that definitely it's my master project to, which gave me a taste for research and convinced me to do a, a PhD. And I think that uh, EPFL is one of the few places where you can find on the same campus uh, both biology and engineering. In my thesis, I'm applying and developing uh, technical uh, optical current microscopy to study diabetes. Even though there is a lot which is known already about this disease, there are still open questions about the mechanism involved, involved during uh, the progression of diabetes. And one of the main reasons for that is that it's, sti is it's still now really difficult to image these beta cells which are part of a bigger structure called islets of Langerhans um, in humans. And as we say, a thing is believing. So in my thesis, I am applying a technique called the optical current microscopy, which is an interferometric technique that provides cross-sectional view inside the tissue, but without touching it. So this technique is really similar to ultrasound, except that it uses uh, light instead of, uh, of sound. And with optical current microscopy, we can see in three dimensions these islets of Langerhans, and even more, we can see their vascularization and blood flow without any labeling and with a micrometric resolution. So my goal is to establish this technique to image uh, both the pancreas and islets of Langerhans to study diabetes. So now we are going beyond uh, the structural information to study functional properties of these islets of Langerhans, for example, by monitoring their vascularization or blood flow. And what I would like to show is that there is a direct link between the progression of diabetes and the destruction of the vascularization inside islets of Langerhans.